My name's Anya. Around 10 years ago, I used to live on May Grove in Levenshoe, and the opportunity arose that the street could get trees planted. I think people initially thought it was rather too good to be true. Uh, I think most people who live around here uh, have always been a little bit envious of a street further down which has always had trees. Uh, but when they kind of were convinced that it, you know, it wasn't too good to be true, it actually was a real opportunity, then everybody was really enthusiastic and, as you can see, uh, made some really nice choices. Well, I think some people wanted some that flowered. There are some of the trees that are blossom. Uh, some of them have berries, some of them are kind of green all year round. Uh, but just having trees full stop was kind of enough for everybody. Well, I think it makes it look more attractive. It perhaps has encouraged people to have more green in their own gardens. It's attracted birds and other wildlife which, which weren't here before, but it's, it's just generally made the area feel kind of better and nicer. Having the trees actually does cheer the area up quite considerably. I'm standing in front of an ancient oak tree that was saved by my father-in-law in the 1960s when he was assistant chief engineer for Roundsbottom Urban District Council. My father-in-law diverted the road so it would come and bypass the tree, thereby saving it for future generations to enjoy. So many people came forward saying how much the tree means to them. Richmond Crompton, the author of the Just Williams books, came from this area. And Just Williams said, there are two kinds of trees, those you can climb, and those you can't. And this is definitely one you can climb. This majestic oak is part of the history of the village. And I'm proud that there's a link between this ancient tree and my children and the legacy left behind by my father-in-law. So we're here in Redditch Woods at the bottom of Holcombe Hill, which is just behind us in Ramsbottom. When I was younger, I came to the woods to volunteer with the ranger service. And I've always liked woodlands for the mysticism, uh, the folklore behind the woodlands. It led me to go to university to study ecology and then a PhD in ecology. So it's, it was very much started here in this wood. It's become a part of my family. Um, we've been going here for years. There's been times where my dad just knocked on in the morning, like six in the morning saying we're going for a walk and we'd come and we'd spend the whole morning in here. I've been here with my nieces and nephews uh, just to play, wonder, um, explore. Bringing the family out to this woodland is just fantastic. We can come here and have picnics, we can come here and have a get together, a chat, play music. A place where both old and young can come together and experience the same thing. Not only does it make me feel proud to bring them to Woodlands and instill that kind of wonder, it also gives me hope for the future generations that they will find something special about the woods and want to protect them. <laughs>